Hey friends, today I want good morning. Good. It's a, it's a nice day. You know, it's uh, it's kind of not very warm. I think it's almost two p.m. and usually it's very hot this time of the day. But it's kind of cloudy. It's kind of chill. I feel pretty good. Anyway, uh, I wanted to talk about the limitations of grind set. And even before I talk about that, I wanted to go in circles a little bit about context and people and personalities and styles. I think that you know a lot of conflict and confusion in the world or in social media or in conversation space in the public comments a lot of that boils down to the fact that different people have different values and different styles and different personalities right and different upbringings and different contexts i think the most core thing is that people have different inclinations you know like not everyone's meant to be an artist and not everyone's meant to be authoritarian i don't know see i i betray my own biases like the language that i use is gonna reveal my personality and my style and my beliefs but i don't i don't want to shit on people for being different you know so okay so some people love calendars some people really they thrive from calendars like having a plan having a schedule you know knowing what they're gonna do each day having that security is good for them and I'm happy for them that that's the way it is for them, you know. At the same time, it's not the way for me. So that's that's the context you need to know. <laughs> Sorry. That's the context you need to know about me and about what I'm going to talk about. So I speak for people like myself, all right? And I am here to help people like myself. So if you're a young person and you love schedules and calendars and to-do lists and all those things, like great, you know, don't let me stop you, you know. I am here to speak for people like myself who don't thrive on all those things and don't hear enough from the right people. That is okay to be a chaos monkey, you know. So I speak on behalf of chaos monkeys. So I want to say, grind set does not work for chaos monkeys. If you are a chaos monkey, if you feel in your soul you have this trickster spirit, you're fucking crazy all the time. Grind set probably is not gonna work for you. And what I mean by grind set, or my interpretation of grind set, is you know, rise and grind. Wake up every day, work really hard, focus on something really hard. You know, have a, have a. And you know, the funny thing is, even as I say these things, I realize I'm about to contradict myself because I do believe in being prolific. You know, I do believe in doing a lot of stuff, but I don't believe that you should be grinding it. You know, I don't believe that it should hurt. I don't believe that you should be nose to the grindstone such that you can't you have to tune out the world you know i've always i've never been able to tune out the world and type mm, even then when i say that i'm like hmm, is that true sometimes i do end up hyper focusing on something but it's never by choice you know it's never i don't i don't decide in advance what i'm gonna bash my head against and whenever i have tried i find that it doesn't work and i find that it's it's hubristic of me right i'm not I'm being arrogant. And there's this great line from uh, Dave Chappelle when he's on Comedians in Cars getting coffee with Jerry Seinfeld. And he's talking about his creative process. And you know, so Dave Chappelle again, he's a guy who's, who's made hundreds of hours of, of he, he's taped hundreds of hours of himself performing stand-up at small clubs and whatever. And he's reviewed those tapes and it's part of why he's so good at what he does. And so he is prolific. And I do recommend being prolific, doing what you love. Right, but um, he's talking about ideas and the creative process, and he says that you know the best things happen when the idea shows up at your house in the car, saying "Get in." It doesn't matter what you're dressed, how you're dressed, whatever. Just, just get in. We're gonna go. And he says that you know sometimes he's sitting next to the idea in the in the front seat, and sometimes he's in the fucking trunk, you know, and the idea is driving. And when the idea is driving, it's gonna be great. But then sometimes you know you feel that hey. I'm an artist, I'm Dave Chappelle, or I'm whatever your name is, I'm important, I'm great, I should drive, I'm important, I should decide. And then when you do that, the work suffers. You know, it doesn't have it doesn't have that joy, it doesn't have life, it doesn't it doesn't sparkle, it's not great. And so greatness really it seems to me it, it's, it's very poetic, you know, it's like you can't demand greatness. You can show up and do the work. The guy blowing leaves. Ah, you can't <laughs> You can't show up demanding greatness, but you can show up and do the work. And am I getting across what I'm trying to say? I, I don't think it's possible that you wake up and you slam yourself against. And again, this is for me. So maybe different people are different. Maybe different. Maybe I, you know, I remember Somerset Maugham has a quote where he says something like, 
I write whenever inspiration strikes and for me inspiration strikes every day every morning at 9 a.m. and you know as I I want to believe that that's true but I bet that that's kind of self valorizing to some degree you know I don't believe that greatness strikes consistently perfectly exactly when you want it you can get better at it and so that you're you know what is an average day for Somerset Moham might have been greatness to someone who's not a practiced writer but I'm closer to like if you see uh, the documentary about Hayao Miyazaki and he's like I feel it every day the limit of my ability I feel like a comb with teeth missing you know I've worked all day I only have one page like it's, this won't do you know, I, like, like that's, that's what my process was like I was really struggling all the time I enjoyed you know um, I didn't enjoy the moment to moment of the struggle and, my, and Miyazaki talks about this as well he says like you know if you told me to give up or quit I'd tell you to go away because you know, if I didn't have these problems, I would want them back. You know, I, I want this struggle. This is a struggle that I choose. And it's difficult when you're young, I think, to, to be discern whether the struggle is what you want or what you don't want. And even now at 32, having written two books and reflecting on my past process and reflecting on my current process and the stuff that I'm working on right now, I, I, I wouldn't say that I know very well moment to moment I, I, I always know in retrospect so afterwards so it's very important to have a review process where after you struggle you look back and go how did that how did that work out and when I look back at my book introspect which I'm happy about happy with but uh, I'm not delighted with my process because I think I did get hubristic about it I, I was kind of demanding that the work should go a certain way and there, there is that create that, that push pull tension right between what you want and what the work wants and you don't want to dominate it entirely but you can't, you have to be there as well you know you, 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 it, it doesn't happen by itself you have to make it happen but there is a, a certain flow that you get into and the flow seems to happen by itself even though you're making it happen so the limitations of grind set yeah I feel that you know I did a tweet yesterday that was something like uh, I get to be lazier than a lot of my peers like 80% of my peers I think because I think longer term, have a longer view, bigger picture perspective. And I joked, I said, to be flippant about it, like hard work, quote unquote, hard work, is a cope for being unstrategic. And some people got mad about this because they're like, oh, you know, you're dismissing the people for whom, who have no choice but to work hard. Yeah, you know, I'm sorry. That's like, like context collapse is a thing. Like I can't speak, you know, it's, no utterance can, can represent everybody's context well. And I'm going to represent my context. And if you want to be mad about that, that's fine. I'm, I don't want to get into that. But, uh, but it made me want to make this video because it made me think about how even when I say lazy and hard work and strategic, I don't exactly mean these things the same way that other people mean them. And, uh, you know, so I do work hard when I work. You know, I, again, this, uh, this, is like, uh, this is like my... I've made like 300 plus videos at this point. Is that hard work? In a sense, it is. You know, like can you make... like? The, uh, to a person who hasn't made 300 videos, the idea of making 300 videos is going to seem like hard work. But have I been working hard at this? I don't really think so. You know, it's 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 persistence and repetition. And I you know I, I would like ideally to make a video every single day, but I don't. And that's fine. You know, I mean, it would be nice if I made videos every day. But like, I don't think that forcing myself to do it and grinding my way into doing it would be ideal because then you would see in these videos that I'm not having fun. I'm not, I'm not, you know, going with the flow. You know, I'm just kind of grinding it out. And I, I, you have to have soul, you know, you have to have feeling. It has to be real. I, I believe that, you know, and, and so I guess that's what I'm getting at the limitations of grind set. Like, your work should be spirited. And if you don't have spirit, I spat a couple of times, haven't I? Spirit. <laughs> Your, your work should be spirited and if there's no spirit in your work, it can't sing, it can't, it can't you know, uh, go beyond, it can't resonate with people, and then you're not going to get lucky, you know, it's not going to... And again, this, this applies in certain domains, right? It applies in... Uh, why is this it's like really blowing leaves right where I'm... It's a whole street that is blowing right where I'm... That's life, you know. Uh, anyway, you can't... You can't demand inspiration. So sorry, sorry. I was saying I was talking about creative fields, right? So there are some fields maybe where a daily grind set might work. I don't know. I wouldn't want to work in such a field, you know. And maybe you do, and that's fine. But like, uh, I just want to ramble a little bit. 
And one of the things I want, I need to learn to do, and I, I want to teach other people to do as well. And the best way to teach it is to demonstrate it, and to demonstrate it, I have to learn it. So you know, is to be okay with things being incomplete and imperfect. You know, uh, this video isn't a perfect summary and 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 distillation and and you know like one and a half hour contrapoints video of uh, what grindset is. That would require research, it would require plotting, all. It's just my feelings. I'm just sharing my feelings. I will do more videos about this in the future and I will clarify my thoughts about these things over time but I, I just want to get stuff out so that I can one, just to get it out of myself so that I can go on with my day uh, but also I think that incomplete work is a very valuable thing and have I answered the question what is the limitations of grindset? well, so when you're grinding you, 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 you have to be focused on what's happening right in front of you and when that happens you have this tunnel vision and then you can't see opportunity elsewhere you know you can't it's harder to get lucky when you're grinding it's harder to be flexible and open and and have fun and screw around and and recognize adjacent possibilities when you're grinding so grind if you must you know i recommend being prolific i recommend doing lots of stuff but always have some free space you know always have some some flexibility i have the other video that um the, the the Watson and Crick, right? They said we waste years by not being able to waste hours. I think that's very true. That 